And Kettering Fairmont High School will be back open Wednesday after the school was closed today because of another threat, the second in less than a week. This one coming on social media. The district working with Kettering Police after this latest threat last night. Officers arrested a 14-year-old Fairmont student this morning. District leaders and police held a news conference today updating the investigation. Two News reporter Kajasia Hawkins was there and has more on what we learned. Kettering police say a 14 year old Fairmont freshman was behind this and now that freshman is behind bars. Kettering School District and police got a notice of an Instagram post Monday night around 8 p.m. with a threat to shoot up the school on Tuesday at noon. Fairmont students were the first to see that threat. They reported it to staff, faculty and the police who were already on high alert after a threat less than a week ago and the overall climate of the country. These are very serious concerns with what's been going on around the country and uh, the actual violence that has occurred. So if you look at it from uh, a police perspective, uh, I think people need to understand that when they do something like this, whether the intent is actually there or not, you got to be held accountable. Kettering police investigating and identifying a 14 year old freshman student as the suspect. Police visited the teens home Tuesday morning where they recovered weapons. However, police say that student did not have any intent to harm and that student said that he just wanted school to be canceled for the day. School officials say they will continue to provide a safe environment for their students and they hope that those students will fully recover from this incident. I expect our students uh, to be very resilient. I expect to have a great day of school tomorrow and the rest of this week. Uh, this is our seniors last week. This is an exciting time for them. It's sad that uh, we had to cancel school today because there are events scheduled uh, throughout this week to celebrate them and we're excited uh, to close out the year strong. Kettering schools say that they are offering support services to any students or faculty that may need it at this time. School resumes tomorrow. That student remains in custody on charges of inducing panic. Reporting in Kettering, Kajaja Hawkins, 2 News. Well, this comes less than a week after another threat at the school. Authorities say Brandon Moore called the high school, making threats against anyone who identifies as LGBTQ. Moore was arrested hours after allegedly making that call. He's charged with two misdemeanors of inducing panic and telecommunications harassment. He's due back in court next week and is out on bond. Kettering police say the two threats are not connected.